Hey, Chameleon.com here. Today we're going to be doing a review for car desks. Yep, basically some plastic that turns your front driver's seat or passenger seat into a mobile workstation. Great for a lot of different professions if you need access to a laptop within your vehicle for a comfortable surface. Before I go any further, guys, as always, we're going to have links in the description below to ensure that you get the best price on your automotive purchase today. And be sure to check us out over at Chameleon.com because we have basically every item known to man. Stuff for your car, your baby, your camera, your drone, your, your bicycle, your GoPro, fishing, survival, outdoor, military, home improvement. Stuff for your dog, your cat, your kid, your fish, your tools, and toys and games. Check us out in the links in the description below. Now, let's get straight into this. There's basically two choices for car desks from what I could find on... Uh, Amazon. Okay, so you have this hard plastic one that goes right on the steering wheel, and then you got this one that actually is like a hook design, and then this one I didn't even see, but I, it is an honorable mention. Let me take a look at this guy. The reason I don't like this one is because it you have to See, the, the thing that's the problem with this is that it implies that you have something to put it on. Look at that guy slouching. See that slouching? Let me zoom in on that slouch. You don't want to slouch. That is bad design. However, with these two, I think that's part of the reason I bought this one originally. With this one, it goes directly on the steering wheel. And it really locks into place. Or you got this guy right here. Not as highly rated as the simplistic one. But I'm going to get straight into that. Uh, in just a second. So it's very light to carry, but sturdy enough to support a laptop, lunch, and notepad. Hook on your steering wheel, you will get an instant ergonomic dense desk. Once again, guys, well, before I go too much further, I'm going to actually do a versus video on these from inside the car. So if you just want to fast forward ahead and see which one's better, you can also do that. But really, that's what I'm going to discover. If this one that's not as highly rated, but is better designed with more room is better, or just the simplistic this simplistic guy that uh, goes right on the steering wheel, and I am not remaking this review, so here we go. Pretty neat, pretty good, like a, almost feels like a little Tykes toy or something, it's like, it's like that kind of plastic, I guess you would call it. It's got a cup holder right here, and I guess these little indentations, maybe for your keys or something, but it goes right on there, and it goes right on the steering wheel. Not much else to say about it. Uh, size is 11 inches by 16.5 by 0 0.79 inches thick. That is also known as 28 centimeters by 42 centimeters, centimeters by 2 centimeters. Now for this guy, this one's not as highly rated, but it's design, perfect, powerful, easy to install, easy removal, high quality materials, portable, fold up car, multi-tray, multifunctional, can be mounted to the steering wheel. Assistant seat or seat back. Now that was something I liked about this. You could actually put this on the back of a seat and you see how it comes up higher on here. Let me show you this. Getting this camera guy. Hold on a second. So you'll see that for the plastic one, let me get my pointer too. For the plastic one, it's got this little, uh, it's kind of lower on the steering wheel. But for this guy, it's like halfway up. So it's really good for your neck because you're going to be looking directly at it. It could also be fixed with a book if you just put it on the other one, but I just thought I'd mention that. Uh, portable fold-up multi cover da, da da This product can be used in the steering wheel, back of car seat in seconds without hassle. Work as a writing table or as a platform for your laptop or computer. Laptop computer. Reverse side is a food tray with a drink holder. Slim design that you can fit into the back of a car seat when not in use. Lightweight construction makes it easy to carry or store in the back seat pocket when not in use. Okay. Take a look at this guy. So, there is a little bit of Shenzhen engineering here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so, this is going to take some, uh, you know what, I'm not going to bore you guys trying to build this thing. I think I'm just going to check back in um, with these things in the car, and I'm just going to give you my honest impressions. But just in case I don't... Let me see. They didn't bring, did not include any instructions, I don't think. Let me check the back. I'm 
Max load of the tray is 10 kilograms, or roughly like 22 pounds, something like that. Da, 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 notebook, food, drink. Hmm. I'm looking at the diagram here. Okay, so I guess what happens is these guys... See how this goes. These guys go on like this, right? Okay. Oh, I see how this works. Okay. So this is the this is the surface right here. Okay. So this folds on a on a on a angle with this. Uh, I guess you would say this angled uh, support, and then this can get tightened down. Yeah, that's loosened. Okay, and then that's tight. I wish you could see that. Tighten, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and then when you have your position set up, oh, okay, so that won't move anymore. Okay, inter okay, now I'm starting to get this thing. So you loosen this, this can be adjusted up and down on your seat, which is great, which is actually a lot better engineered than this little piece of plastic. I'm actually already starting to like this one, to be honest with you. Then these guys, I, I'm just facing, I'm going to pretend I'm facing the steering wheel, goes like this, pops on. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, cheese and crackers, man. There it goes. Whoa, that's a quite a snap to get that on there. Okay, just gotta pop that into place. All right, so that works like that. And it doesn't really full. Now, what are, the, are that? I guess those are storage. Okay, now I'm starting to learn this thing. Now, these guys. What are these for? Pray tell. Once again, guys, if you want to fast forward to me just in the car with this thing and give me my honest opinion on what's better, I'm already straying toward this black one. It's not as simplistic, but I will tell you right now, it is a much better surface than uh, this thing. It's bigger, it's better, it's got a fold-out tray, as you can see right here. It's got a tray like that, and pretty cool. I'm already digging this thing a lot. Now, these, I don't know what they go to. I'm trying to figure that out right now. I don't know if they go into here. I think they go into here. It looks like they would fit into here, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure what those are for. I really want to know what those are for. Kind of would like to know. I really want to know what these two parts are, and I don't know how to put them in. I'm not. I don't want to screw around with it and mess it up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let me see what these go to. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't want to bust it or break it or try and force it in see if that would break it but let me see if this would all right so that folds down like this the question is what do these go to do they go on the side do they clip it i guess they go on the bar like this it's the only explanation i can possibly give for these things man and then maybe they so it says right and left on these well, the question is, what do these go to, man? That's so weird. Let's see how that works. I honestly don't know, but... They definitely, you guys can let me know in the comments, they definitely belong on the back here because they're marked uh, 
right and left. I think I might have these on the wrong way, though. Let me check that out. Because here's right. Yeah, and that's not upward. So let me. So here's right. Okay, that's right, and that's left. Now, what these are for, I I really honestly don't know. Maybe if you have a bar or something that these can go into. If I find out what these are for, I'll let you guys know in the comments below. Or just ask me in the comments and I'll let you know. Because I, I, I just can't put my finger on it quite yet. And I know they go on this bar because I got this little hole right here. And the hole matches up right there. And it's almost the exact, almost the exact same thing. So that's a very curious uh, thing about that. There are no instructions in here. It just It's just on the back. And it really doesn't say... Um, Hook hangers on top of the steering wheel. Adjust tray to suitable height. Tighten, tighten the, the, tighten the both. Tight, God, I love the broken English. I, I keep getting stuck. Tighten the both knobs. That's what it actually says. Tighten the both knobs. Adjust the angle of the tray horizontally and tighten the knob on the frame. Okay. Install the hangers on both sides of the bracket. Then hook underneath the headset and hang on the back. Adjust the tray suitable height and tighten the knobs. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't say. It does not say what they're for. They might be replacements for this. I just don't know, man. I just, I don't know. I don't know. But, I am going to test this out in the car. And the other cool thing about this is that I think these might store into here somehow. These guys do something. Unless these guys go into here. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. No. Oh, wait. Oh. Did I figure it out? Oh, that must be for... Oh, that's for this, if you want to take it out and put it into that. Yeah, these go on to here. I just don't know what they're... I just don't know exactly what they're for. If you guys know in the comments, please let me know what they're for. I, I, I can't put my finger on it, man. I don't know. But I'm pretty dang close. The box is a good storage container for it, I must say. So those are going in there. And with the, even with these two things on the bar, the two things I just put on, it still folds neatly into its original box. So I do like that. And uh, I'll just put the hooks right here. There you go. I got yourself a desk. Okay. We'll have links in the description below to ensure that you get the best price on your car desk. I'm going to bring these to the van, give you my honest opinion on both of them. If you guys, if you guys know what those two things were for, let me know in the comment section below. On that note... As always, Chameleon.com is out. Peace. Okay, so honest impressions of this thing, at least for my car, I really don't like it. When I push down, it I mean, it, it's stable. It's not bad, but, I mean, you're better off just putting a cardboard box on your lap almost. It, it, it's good. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's a very makeshift desk putting a laptop on your lap or something I'll, I'll give it that but not that impressed just from a surface level and i don't like how much this thing is moving with the steering wheel and i know there's sometimes steering wheels that'll lock into place but in this case mine doesn't so yeah just saying uh i'll give it a seven out of ten not bad all right, so this thing is the clear winner, and I'm going to explain why. It's adjustable. This can, this whole apparatus right here, it can go up, down. You can have it to where you adjust the uh, 
the thing underneath to where it's actually supporting it right from the steering wheel. It's, you got this whole brace right here. It can be hooked on top. It can be hooked on the side. So if you want to mount it on a side thing, like on the back of a uh, seat cover or something. I'm oh, not a seat cover, but a seat in general, like the uh, the things that connect the headrest, you can hang them on there sideways. This thing is just way better engineered, in my opinion, and then it also has a thing that comes out on the side, and then with the weight of a uh, laptop on it, of course, will counteract that, so you can have stuff on here, like little keys and whatever. So I think this is a much better surface. It's much bigger, and quite honestly, you'll see that it, it gets shifted back. You can kind of see the weight distribution shift back. Anyway, I think it's a lot better, and I think it's a lot more, I want to say, universal to any car. I just like this thing a lot, and I really like that you can adjust the height to where the laptop is facing you directly at eye level. That's pretty much all I have to say about this thing. Links in the description, links in the description below, and chameleon.com is out. Peace.